Welcome to this recitation on matrix exponential. So here we're given matrix A with entry 6, 5, 1, 2, and we're asked to compute the matrix exponential, exponential AT, and to use it to solve the initial value problem U, d U prime of T equals A U T, where here U are basically vectors, with initial condition U of 0 equals 4, 1. So why don't you pause the video, work through the problem, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. OK, so first, to uh, go ahead and compute the matrix exponential, we need to identify the eigenvalues of the matrix A and its eigenvector. So this is a matrix, I'll just rewrite it here, that we saw before. And its eigenvalues are, again, solution of 6 minus lambda 5, 1, 2, minus lambda equals to 0, which gives us 6, 2, minus lambda, minus 5, equals to 0. Lambda square minus 8 lambda, and we have a 12 minus 5. Plus lambda. So you can verify that the two eigenvalues would be 1 and 7. Plus or minus, just write down. Lambda 1 equals to 1, and lambda 2 equals to 7. So now we need to seek the eigenvectors associated to each one of the eigenvalues. So the idea here is to basically move toward a diagonalization of the matrix A. So let's seek the eigenvectors. And here I'm just going to give them to you, and you can verify the, the the calculation, uh, and this calculation was performed in a previous recitation. So the eigenvectors, v1 associated to the eigenvalue lambda 1, was, for example, 1 minus 1. And the other one that we found, again, this is one form of the eigenvector, was 1 and 5. Minus 5. 5 and 1. Five and one. <laughs> so these are from the notes of a previous recitation. So you can verify that these are the two eigenvectors. And uh, from this point, then we can rewrite the solution. If, if you recall, I'm just going to go through the steps toward getting to the definition of the exponential matrix. So here, if we didn't know anything about the exponential matrix, we'd be able to write this solution as C1 exponential T V1 plus C2 exponential 70 V2, which basically gives us here, if I write it in this form, for example, uh, an exponential T minus exponential T and an exponential 5t multiplied by the entry of this vector, an exponential 7t here, multiplying c1, c2. So this is where the idea of the, um, of the uh, matrix exponential comes from. We're basically introducing a matrix phi of t, for which we can write u equals phi of t multiplied by the C1, C2 uh, general uh, constants. So phi of t would then be equal to this matrix. But what we want is, an in is to be able to solve an initial value problem for which, um, so let me just, for which E of A of 0 applied to our initial conditions would give us back our initial condition. Okay, so we're seeking for a form for this exponential matrix that would allow us to do this. So the way that we define the exponential, the matrix exponential, give us exponential at. Now I won't go into the proof, but we're just going to check it together. 
multiplied by 5 of 0 minus 1. So let's check that if we use this form of the exponential, metric exponential, we would have e, we would have that at 0 applied to u0, we have 5, 0, 5, 0 minus 1 applied to u0. This is a matrix with its inverse, which gives us the identity. And so basically, this gives us back u of 0. So basically, just as a quick, I mean, you don't need to do that when you're asked to find the matrix exponential. But just as to remember where it's coming from, you, have the, you write down your system in, in matrix form. You identify the matrix phi of t. And then you recall why you want the matrix exponential to have this form, basically to be able to solve initial value problems, for which the uh, value u of t is uh, projected to u of 0 when you, we take t equals 0 for the matrix exponential. OK, so now let's go back to our problem. So let's compute this matrix exponential. We have phi of t. So now, from this formula, we know that we need phi of 0. So that's give us basically exponential of 0. 5 minus 1 and 1. We need to find it, its inverse. So recall that the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is basically just the determinant minus b minus c and reversing the diagonal entries. OK, so we can just apply this to get our phi of 0 minus 1. So here our determinant is basically 1 plus 5, which is 1 over 6. And then the entries are simply 1, 1, minus 5, and 1. So now we're just left with a multiplication of two matrices to get our matrix exponential. OK, so our matrix exponential. would give us this 1 sixth. And we now have to multiply the entry. So I'm not going to rewrite everything. I'm just going to use the space here. So we have exponential t multiplying 1 plus 5 exponential 70. Um, yeah, 5 exponential 70. Then we have exponential t dot minus 5 for this entry. 5 exponential t multiplying our 1. Uh, yeah. uh, 70, thank you. Uh, then for the second entry, we basically have minus exponential t 1, exponential 70 1, minus exponential t minus 5. And exponential 70, 1. OK. So we're done with the matrix exponential. So now we were asked to solve for the initial value problem with initial condition one, uh, 4 and 1. So how do we go about that? Well, recall that I just reminded you what, what did we want to use this matrix exponential for. And what we wanted it for is to be able to basically project an initial condition into a solution u at t, t times later. And we constructed this matrix to be able to basically give us this solution by just multiplying the matrix by the initial value vector. So basically, to find the solution of this initial value problem, we simply need to multiply this matrix by the initial vec vector uh, that we were given. And I'm just going to write it here to not have to rewrite everything. And it was 4 and 1. This is u of 0. Uh, so let me just do a dash here just so that we can do the computation. And we would end up with a solution u of t. I'm going to keep it in matrix form for now. So we end up with exponential t 
4 exponential t minus 5 exponential t, so minus 1 exponential t, and we have a 1 sixth here. 5 exponential 7t multiplied, so we have 20 plus 5, so 25 exponential 7t. Uh, then for the, for the second entry of the vector solution, we have minus exponential here, minus 4, that we add to a 5. And here, a 7 multiplied by 4 that we add to a 1. So we have basically plus 5 exponential 7t. And that basically gives us one way of writing the solution. And we can split this then if we will, into two solutions, two, two uh, vectors, um, uh, yeah, plus t, minus one, one, exponential seven t, 25, five. But this form is as valid. Yes, thank you. OK, so that ends the library's calculations. But basically, the key point here was just to remember where is the matrix exponential coming from, uh, basically from the, the, the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the original matrix present in the system. And where is the definition coming from? Why do we define it as phi of t, phi minus 1 of 0? And how to use it then to compute the solutions given an initial value uh, to basically answer, give the solution to an initial value problem. So that ends this recitation.